and little Samba Koulibaly is on his way to make medical history. He's one of the first children to take part in a trial for a new vaccine against deadly meningitis. During Africa's worst meningitis epidemic in 1996, 25,000 people died. African leaders called on the World Health Organization to urgently introduce a more effective vaccine. Many countries in sub-Saharan Africa have called for this vaccine because of this dreadful and devastating disease, which is called epidemic meningitis. The project was established with a single goal, to eliminate epidemic meningitis as a public health problem in sub-Saharan Africa. Over one million cases of meningitis have been reported in Africa since 1988. When an epidemic strikes, people are desperate to be immunized. But the emergency injections do not work on infants and give only temporary protection to adults. What's urgently needed is a vaccine that can eliminate African meningitis once and for all. But first, there were obstacles to overcome, including winning over the community. Anything new happens, uh, there are always worries and rumours, and so it's part of, uh, of life that you are worried when something new comes. In addition to all the technical and medical aspects, we need political will. Menafira is unprecedented on the development model, but also on the deployment. We can take advantage of the known stability of the vaccine and use the vaccine at ambient temperature. And that's, again, unprecedented. You can take the vaccine out of the fridge, put it in a vaccine carrier, and travel long distance where there are no health facilities to reach people who do not normally have access to health facilities. So this is, this is really a revolution in terms of the control temperature change. I'm starting to see the end of the tunnel. I'm starting to see the sun. Available now on Video On Demand.